Hello everyone, it's Austin with an E. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another video with my sketchbook, and in today's video I'll be showing you my process on how I make original characters, so maybe you can make your own at home. And I have a few different methods in this video, and hopefully um, you can use at least one of them in your um, when you want to create your own characters, and I hope you really enjoy this video. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to open up to the first blank page, and I have already stuck my fingers in here, so I don't spoil any of the weekly art, which will be shown at the end of the video. And I have my pencil case here, and I'm just going to pull out a few pencils. I always keep them near the top, just so they're easy to grab. And yeah, this is my very messy pencil case that I've had forever, so it's probably been shown in quite a few videos. So my first, I like, method for... Um, making your own characters is to almost just make lines and then turn them into something. Like, say I did that, or so just to do scribbles, just wavy lines, and you have to turn them into something. So now I can keep going with that line and oh look that might be a face looking that this way and you can make it have big lips with like just like a cute face you can do really whatever you want with this method and it just is almost like a character generator you can just make up whatever you want and I've been having fun um, drawing feet on my characters lately. I sometimes just do nubs but I've been drawing little toes and I think it turns real, it's really cute and oh yes I think this face is going to be really cute. Ooh, I like it. Okay so and whenever I think a character needs something stick a bow tie on there. I think that's basically one of my signature things now. And now you can like give him a little belly and another foot. Actually, maybe a little more for a foot. Okay, so now you have a character, but he might be missing something. What's the story with your character? That's what I like making up. I like giving a story for different characters. Like, see. I like giving them names and thinking of what's going on in this picture. And I always like my arms to be drawn like this where they kind of like go backwards because I think it's almost like the peanuts, you know how the peanuts walk around like that? And I think it's super cute. So what can he be looking at that he's amazed with? What about, cause he looks kind of like, ooh, that looks good. Like, so. You know what we can draw? A very wonky circle. Cause I, can anyone guess what I'm drawing yet? You guessed it. It's a donut. So then you can just keep adding little things to your character. Actually, I don't like those eyebrows. I always try to draw characters with eyebrows, and then I decide I like it better without eyebrows. So it always ends up without eyebrows that's just the way my characters always end up you can keep adding little things like a little tongue or what else can we add a belly button okay so now let's go over or actually we can put some like like he's like so you can tell that's what he's looking at like a floating dot and then this one a grumpy grumpier character and he can be standing this time instead of just sitting there so he's got little feet with toes and none of your drawings are going to be perfect so I kind of just go with that, that it's not going to be perfect it could be a little bit derpy and wonky and maybe we can give him a very flat 
tall head. And maybe he's got teeth. Maybe he also needs a bow tie. Sorry about that, my sister just came in the room. And let's keep getting back. Let's get back to this bow tie. Give him a big one. trouble figuring out which way the hands go. Does anyone else have that problem? And what kind of face should we give him? Give him tiny eyes right here. I think that would be cute. I never draw many other way, just some cute colors. So he can have a belly button too. Should we give him some big ears? Yes, that's cute. I like that. Kind of troll ears. Oh, I love him. May go some lines on his chin. Has <laughs> anyone else seen the movie Avengers? So I'm going to make this one kind of sitting on a hill. And he can just be standing on a different hill. Ooh, I like these characters. Voila, you just made your own character. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now I'm going to color them, but I'll speed that part up so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. And, okay, I'll be back in a minute after these are colored. Okay, I'm back, and here are my really cute characters, and I think they turned out really cute, and I'm going to name this one Phil. And this one, um, Eddie. So Phil and Eddie. Okay, let's move on to the next idea. Okay, so the next idea is get inspiration from something. So, I think I'm gonna do from, so I made this drawing today, and this is a real Luna Moth wing that I taped down, and I also did all these pressed flowers. So, I think we should do something inspired by nature. Don't you think? I think that would be cool. So these are forget-me-nots, this is a strawberry plant. This is some sort of crab apple. Yeah, so these are just things that I collected outside, and I think we should make it a character inspired by them that looks a little bit like this. So we'll go past that and fill. And, okay, so I think we should do, I like doing on different characters. I think we should make it like, like that one. 
was a really big cute head staring forward instead of sideways. I'm just giving a long Ooh, I just had a good idea. Okay, so we'll give it a long neck like a plant. And then two cute arms. Let's see if you guys can guess. And then you can give a little leaf feed. Ooh, that looks cute. Ooh, look at this. It's so cute. Yes. Look at the leaf feed. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So I like giving lots of my characters super simple. This makes me sad. I love that character. We can fix it. That pencil is not very good. Yeah, like that. That's so cute. Okay, so now I want to do like. Is this gonna work? Like dandelion puffs. Is that a cute idea to do his hair? Like dandelion puffs. Super far down, like there's more poofs. Yep, it's working. Doing more. Mm -hmm. Looking good. And do something like this. And of course, this is just a rough sketch. You can always fix it up. Make things look better. I love it. He's like a snowflake. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm talking like I talk to my cat. Hey, Toffee, come on here. Yeah, Toffee's my cat, and I've drawn her in some of my, one of my Create This Book episodes. And she is my big fan. So Siamese cats are supposed to be only 8 to 12 pounds and she's 18, so she's very overweight. I love him! Yes, I think we should give him some for him, but no, I want it to be more down and shine. Skinny little twig. He's so cute! Oh, I love him. Okay, so now that we've got one down, let's try to do another one. Actually, no, I want to add little leaf ears. Oh, I'm dying. It's so cute. I think it's one eyes. Oh. Ooh, I love him. He's so cute. Okay, so what else? What other kind of plant? What about. Actually, I might not even do another plant. I think he's super cute. So now I'm gonna start coloring him. So I'm gonna get brown. Some greens. 
saw is stuck in my head because I just watched the trailer for Sing number two and I'm super excited. The background music in it is so good. Look it up on YouTube. It's such a good trailer. Looks like it'll be a really good movie. I can't wait to watch it because I really liked the first thing. So I'm just gonna sharpen all these pencils. Yes, I sharpen my normal pencil hands on the bigger side sometimes. Because I'm just gonna use them for small details. Okay guys, you get to see something that doesn't happen very often. So this has been going for two or three weeks. And now you get to see what happens. This is my giant jar of pencils. Look how big look up all this. So I've been collecting these for five months now, I think. Yeah, I go through a lot of sharpeners, and these are three parts of my sharpener in here. Oh, there it is. I have another sharpener in here, I think. Yep, there it is. So, you just witnessed the emptying of my sharpener drawer. Full. And once this is full, I'm just going to keep it on my shelf. Look how cold it is. It's so full. Because you pay so much money for all those pencil brands, and then you don't even, like, you don't keep them because you just use them all. So, like, what's the point if you're not going to keep them? So, like, I spent so much money on my pencil crayons. I've spent over $100 in, like, the last year on pencil crayons. Just rebuying them. So, because I've rebought them, like, four times, I think, at this point. So, like, $120. So, yeah, I've spent lots of money on my first my colors. Okay, but, okay, I'll color this again off camera. And I think I might do some liner on this one. And I'm really excited. So, I'll be back when this one's colored. Okay guys, so I just finished this, this character and I think he's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna sign it. And I'm gonna name him Dandy. Just gonna do it. It's June 27th. And this video will not be posted tonight. I'm just because it is 7:30, so too late to edit a whole video. But I did. I am posting a video tonight, just a different one. So this will probably be posted next week. So it doesn't match with the date. Just looking at it. Okay. So, and I have one more method, and I'll show it to you now. So, my next method is to get some pencil crayons. These are my pencil crayons. Now, stick your hand in without looking and pick out a color. So, 
So I got this Copenhagen blue. And then you just have to make something without sketching. I know that could be intimidating, but it's very fun. So without sketching, just draw something. So now, after you draw something, then you have to shade it with that color, which is really, really a fun thing to do. I find it very fun, and as you've seen in my sketchbook tour in on the very last page, I filled the whole page doing this with different colors that I just chose randomly, and I've also done that in some of the weekly art that I've shown in my sketchbook five and it is a very very fun thing to do to just simply shade and you don't even have to work very hard to accomplish a cool looking um a cool looking little thing see and there's a character you don't have to name it because i don't usually name the ones like this because they're so simple to do that you can just keep making more and more and it's so much fun like, you can give them a little belly button, shade underneath that. So, see, you can just do this so easily. So watch, and I'll, so if you keep watching, I'll just fill this whole page with different ones, that, which I'll speed up so you don't have to watch this video for a whole hour. So, and I am choosing all my colors randomly, and after that, I'll, go back through the art that I've done in this video and then I'll show you the weekly art and then the video will be over but I hope you enjoy watching me do this colorful shading people well not people characters and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm here with the weekly art, and still I haven't cleaned up my mess from the video that I did. But, um, so here's the first one, and my favorite movie is Thor Ragnarok, and this is part of the 30 day Marvel challenge, and so I did Loki, and just a quick doodle of him, and I did drop one of my markers right there, and it's kind of sad, because I was working so hard on this page. And then I drew some ducks because me and my friend went down to our local um, river and we just sat there and drew and I made up this pelican named Robert and this I also did while we were there just so we were doing this challenge where we had to do something with gel pen so I kind of just it was kind of just brain bark sorry about the noise it's my sister's hamster 
chewing on the bars of his cage. And I did these dinosaurs. I think this one's my favorite. So I did a spread of dinosaurs. And I did another dinosaur. And some dinosaur stuffed animals. <laughs> Not that I'm like a dino nerd or anything, but it's just. So I did um, this new character. It doesn't have a name. And I drew him again on this uh, derpier version, but I like these drawings better. And these are YouTube ideas, which I'll skip, but made up this, testing out some Prismacolor premieres that I got for my birthday a few months ago, but I just opened them, so. And I already showed you this in this video, but my pressed flowers and this cute little bug with the real thing. And also, I just wanted to show you guys this that I made. This is um, one of Mirror Byler's characters, the Blubblefly. I'm going to send it to her in the mail. It's so cute. I love it. But I'm really, I'm actually going to send it to her though. So, so here's the, um, that's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Austin with an E, signing out for now. Bye!